hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel today we are going to be having a chat about diabetes if you have been on this channel long enough you will know that one of the most important things i like to share with my subscribers is how to manage and conquer diabetes and live a healthy normal beautiful lifestyle welcome to my channel i am daniela Kwaku, and i'll be sharing with you today five things that i would change if i am a diabetic person so the first thing that i would change if i am a diabetic person number one is my diet diabetes is a result of high blood sugar level in your system and is highly impacted by your diet no matter how you see it no matter how you say it there is no way around it you cannot manage or handle your diabetes without changing your diet so that includes eating the right amount of carbs eating the right amount of protein increasing your fiber intake water intake making sure that you divert or alternate or change from processed carbs to complex carbs whole foods and all that you just need to change your diet there's no way around it that is the first thing i would do so i have changed my diet i am eating well i am doing all i need to do to manage my blood sugar level but there's still something else i am not doing how are you resting how are you managing your stress level there is one thing you must know when you are stressed your blood sugar level will always be spiked why because stress is the number one impact of blood sugar when you are stressed you have increased that hormone that is called what's the name of that hormone um there is a hormone i will write it down on my screen but that hormone is responsible for your flight mode it's the hormone that you have when you see a lion in those days they say when you see a lion you run it's either it's called the flight the, the flight or it's like when you see it you run basically but that hormone is also a stress level now that stress level must be managed how are you sleeping what time are you going to rest how are you unwinding when you come back from work when you come back from work are you still working are you still stressing are you still doing all those things that will keep you on that high mode especially we that are in lagos if you are in lagos you know that you need to manage your stress level it's not something that you compromise so you have to one work on your sleep routine go to bed on time number two try to unwind spend time with family and friends laugh stay at home watch a movie and all these are important to minimizing your stress level remember stress and diabetes don't go together the number three thing i will do if i am a diabetic person is i will change from a sedentary person to a very active person i'll tell you why if you are doing exercise as a diabetic person there is one thing you are doing for yourself you are making yourself insulin sensitive immediately you engage in as, as little as 30 minutes exercise even if it's a walk even if it's cycling even if it's dancing you make yourself to absorb your body absorb that excess sugar and use it up to do that exercise now put it up there are so many things you can do at to do as exercise you can walk which is the number one exercise i recommend to anybody that is diabetic you can run you can jog if you want you can swim you can go for cycling you can dance you can go to the gym and do strength training so many things you can do these things help your body system to absorb excess glucose in the system picks it up from itself and makes you very very strong and insulin sensitive will you be doing exercise today but no i want you to do something 
Start with the one you enjoy. Don't do the ones you don't like. Go out and go for a walk with your family. Go and dance with your wife. Do what makes you happy. But no matter what, do not be sedentary. You are signing yourself up for complications of diabetes. Number four thing I would do if I were a diabetic person is I will learn to be more cooperative with my caregivers. Yes, I am speaking from experience. If you are a diabetic person and you have that one loved person, that one loved one that is going all out to do research for you, to make sure that they do alternative foods, to do healthy foods for you and track your blood sugar levels, check your blood sugar levels, take you out for works, Tell you don't eat this all oh, no this is not good for you this is not good for you but you can eat this in in, in, a, in in moderation if i were a diabetic person i would be more cooperative because let me tell you something you are not the only one that is diabetic immediately you became diabetic your family members your loved ones who care for you become more concerned for you so i would be more cooperative i will be i will hold myself accountable I will not go on sneaking up behind me or trying to do things that I know will sabotage my health. I will do that one thing that will help me to stay healthy. Remember, I always say diabetes is not a death sentence. It is only a call for you to live a more healthy and strong life. The final thing I would want you to work on if you are diagnosed with diabetes is one, make sure Finally, is make sure you work on your mindset and your, uh, what's that, the way you talk. Work on your mindset. Work on the way you talk to yourself. Listen to your mind chatter. What are you saying to yourself? Remember, our Holy Bible says a wonderful thing. It says that, that which you fear greatly has come upon you. And it also says that we should guard our hearts for out of it proceeds what the issues of life you have to be careful what you are thinking now think about what you are thinking what are you saying what are you thinking and also remember it is from the depth from the fullness of your mind of your heart that your mouth speaketh so you cannot speak what is not in your heart so you have to think the right thing and then say the right thing instead of saying this is gokiman picking one day why don't you say, I have a sound mind. My body is whole. I am the healed of the Lord. My blood sugar level is standard. It is balanced. I am walking and moving in the image and likeness of God. I want you to work on your mindset and the way you talk to yourself. That one is very important. Don't forget to support me by liking and sharing and subscribing. Commenting. If you love this kind of content, I would love to keep doing more of it. Well, till I come your way again, it is your favorite health coach and friend, Daniela Kwaku, and I'm here to help you live a healthy lifestyle. Take care of yourself and love you. Bye.